Could we start with those or what? I don't think about that one. Does anybody else like to? See, the camera's earlier. Uh, <laughs> Hello. 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 What um, question would Mrs. Merton ask Karen? Oh, she'd be very kind to her. Mm. <laughs> what would you say? She'd say, this be awful for you, what, with the press being on your back all the time. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Something like that, I should say. I won't answer. Oh, I wouldn't, because I wouldn't go on a chat show. <laughs> no. no, I really wouldn't. And also it'd be quite hard because I actually do Mrs. Merton. So <laughs> it'd be production difficulties. Hi, it's Steve Ashton to you right in Teletext. You actually asked the question yourself then. Uh, where do you get the audience from? Um, well, we know everybody in the audience, 158, and we actually know them all. But it's like friends of my mum's and then people from the doctor's, rece my doctor's receptionist come. <laughs> and, um, my dentists or the women who work there come from the shop. and from my shop and just people of, I mean, and neighbours and people of, of that age group uh, who who we know but we, we do and everybody on the show's mum and dad's come um, and it is really it's a lovely atmosphere when you're there on the night and you realise that you know yeah there are horrible bits of show business you know but Really, at the end of the day, the warranty you get off of all them is worth it all, and the money from the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> is the show, is somebody, I think, at the back there, was there? Yeah, you're not going to run out of people waiting to come on the show. Um, no. I don't, I don't know. So, never really think like that. No, I think you're famous. You know, we get an awful lot of replies that say we can't do it this time, but we'd love to do it next time, and very often they're genuine, you know. I mean, when you say people who refuse to come on, it's actually hard to tell. I mean, we ask people and invite them to come on and you know if they can't do it because of their commitments they can't do it but um i think the nice thing about the show is is that you know you get an awful you know a lot of people who do really want to come on and as caroline says i think excuse me i think it's that situation what's great about the show is that you know people like john and Lindley come on and you know they've got that sort of presence and sense of humor and an awareness of what the show is all about to come on and really enjoy it and entertain probably for you know far longer than we can accommodate and we regret having to cut things out that hit the cutting room floor because we haven't got time to put them in the show and then drops a lovely note later saying how much you've thoroughly enjoyed it you know, and I think that all goes well for the future really. Is there ever a point, Caroline, where you feel you might chuck away the, the wig and the crumbling frock and actually be yourself as a chat show hostess because you can obviously handle it as yourself. What, what does putting the wig on and becoming this work give you that being yourself though? Well, I would like to do it as myself eventually. Um, I'd like a chat show as myself. But I'm um, waiting till this runs out of steam, really. And um, I also, I, I, would, I would love my own chat show in about two years. But at the moment, this is such a laugh that there's no point in thinking about anything, you know, else in that area till, till this dies on its hair, uh, on its... <laughs> <laughs> so, dies on its hair. Uh, <laughs> what other plans have you got for Mrs. Merton in the future? Um. <laughs> but I think with her doing ruby wax and everything, no, she she'd done enough for her, eh? Did you do the Vegas one? No, no, she wouldn't do any. She yeah, no, she wouldn't do no. How much of the show is scripted? I'd say I don't know about that. All the questions are written kind of beforehand, but obviously Caroline knows none of the replies that she's going to give, and it's not rehearsed in any way, so. Basically, just the questions are scripted, and uh, then um, Caroline obviously has to respond to whatever they say. In, in the final edit, it usually comes out about 40% script and 60% ad-lib. And which questions have you really looked forward to asking? Good question. There's one with not 